Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee Noah. Yeah, I'm here with a video. Now I know it's been a while, but I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. It's been a while, but you know, I tell you I'm gonna be popping in and out trying to help my daughter, but it's, it's starting to calm down. The school season is starting to, you know, getting settled down and Things are getting in order, and so, I'm here. So, today, there's no class. So, Tennessee North is going to make a little video, and I'm hungry. So, I'm going to make me some lunch. And uh, this is going to be kind of a throw-together, kind of a... Um, I don't know, kind of, um, um, as my kids said, one of them old folks type meals. It's going to be a consist of potatoes and kielbasa, Polish sausage, whatever you want to call it, green peppers, onions, you know onions, you know I love onions, yeah, and, um, yeah, it's going to be one of those, um, what I like. Um, every now and then you got to kind of fix what you like. I normally fix what everybody else likes, but today it's going to be what Tennessee North likes. A little quick something put together. Um, this is not really a... I can say it's lunch. It's kind of a brunch, lunch. Because I haven't eaten breakfast and I'm not big on breakfast anyway, so it's kind of that in between. We'll call it a brunch, lunch. Yeah. And today I'm feeling good. Um, there's no rasp in my voice, there's no hacking, no coughing. Mm hmm. Yep, and um, I got some aprons coming out, and, um, and some videos coming up. I'll show them to you. Um, yeah. Well, Tennessee, you know, I've got a couple of merch coming out. Not much. Just some aprons. Because I always wear the plain ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, Tennessee North just plain girl. And these are some plain aprons. Got Tennessee North symbol on it. A symbol of what appears to be me. Yeah. But, um, I hope y'all like them. You know. Um, so yeah, um, today, like I said, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I don't have much to talk about today. Um, you know, I do my usual ramble, rambling. Um, you know. Um, life is funny, you know. Uh, we say it works in mysterious ways. Sometimes you can be really down and sad about something, and when you least expect it. The thing that you were worried about the most, or not worried about the most, but you was worried about, or the people that you were worried about, life kind of throws you a funny curve, and it circles back around, and you'd be like, wow.
Maybe I'm not throwing you a curve. It's the Lord working. And it takes that stress off of you. Because he said, um, I'm going to paraphrase it. If you're going to pray about it, don't worry about it. Put it in his hands and leave it. Sometimes we pray about it and we still worry about it. I know Tennessee North has been guilty of that. Praying about stuff and then worrying about it too. But I think that's called human. Yeah. 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 I pray about a lot of stuff. No, it answers my prayers. I got to learn to stop worrying about it. Because the Lord does hear me. And he's proven it. Time and time again. Let me get to this video. And while I was in there digging around me something for my lunch, I found me some canned fruit. So I said, hmm, might as well throw me a dessert together. And I also found some pie crust. So, I might as well make me a little cobbler. You know, just a little something to throw together. Yeah, hold on. Okay. So I'm going to put my dough down. Let me tilt the screen down a little bit. Hold on, let me bring the screen down just a little bit. I'm going to roll my dough out. And then I'm going to... I'm going to put this in the oven... Because I always tempt my um, dough because I want my dough not to be mushy on the bottom. So I always put my dough, my bottom layer, in the oven just to let it brown a little bit. So it don't be soggy. And that's a preference. It's, it's up to you if you want to do it, but I do. And I'm just making a little small one. Just something sweet. And this is not a this is not a homemade cobbler. This is a quick put together cobbler. I just happened to find some Cherries. Yeah. So I'm going with what I found in there. And that's what we're going to have. Some cherry cobble. The one thing about Tennessee North video. Everything made simple. Yeah, you can, you can make it taste like homemade and... Hey... You just gotta put some love in it. If you don't tell, I'm certainly not gonna tell. Mm -hmm. 
And probably nobody's gonna eat this with me and the mister. Mister been eating my stuff almost 30 years. Uh, yeah. He don't ask, and I don't volunteer. He ain't losing no weight. And so I'm going to poke some holes in it, because I don't want it to pop up in the middle. You know? Poke you some holes in it. Because pie crusts tend to bubble in the middle. Like so. Pop it in the oven. Five, ten minutes. You know, just sort of get solid. Hold on. Okay. So, while I'm waiting for my crust, I'm going to cut me up some potatoes, green pepper, onion, and my sausage. This is my lunch. So I'm not cutting these potatoes up in no particular size. I'm just cutting off the fat parts. And I'm not, I'm not peeling these. These are red potatoes. The skins on them are real tender. You don't have to... You don't have to uh, peel these. I'm just kind of chopping them up kind of small. And I'm going to throw them in this cauldron because I'm going to rinse them. After I get them all cut up. That's the one good thing about red potatoes. You don't have to uh, peel. Or really with the uh, other potatoes. You can eat the skin too. You don't have to uh, peel. There's a lot of vitamins in the skin of potatoes. Used to be you had to peel, or they thought you had to peel. You don't have to peel potatoes. Yeah. So I'm gonna get these chopped up here. So let me get some of these peeled up. Chopped up, and I'll be back. Hold on. Okay. I have all my stuff cut up. Onions, bell peppers, green. Onions, bell peppers, polar sausage, and potatoes. Now I'm going to go over here to the stove. I've taken my pie crust out. Hold on. We're going to go to the stove. Okay. I'm going to put some oil in my skillet. This is a little vegetable oil. Just put a little bit in here. And then I'm gonna add my green peppers. My onions, I'm gonna add these first.
And on top of this, I'm going to add a little touch of love. You know, that's me. Get that heated up. And this is a quick meal. Just gonna sweat these onions and green peppers down a little bit. With that taste, of, that little touch of love on it. Get that going good. I have my oven preheated. Because once we get this going and put the top on this. Next I'm going to put my um, sausage in here. Then my potatoes. Get it all seasoned up. Then we're going to work on our cherry pie. Cherry cobbler. Just a little dessert to go along with this brunch lunch. Add our sausage. I got my <clears throat> got my potatoes in the sink. I've already washed and got them draining.
Got some garlic pepper here. A generous amount of that. Onion powder. You know the purple top, Sylvia. A little salt. I'm going to add just a little more oil in it. And I'm going to put the top on it. And we'll let that simmer a little bit and we'll be back. Hold on. Okay. So, we're going to put this pie together. Just, just a quick pie. Yeah. So, found some cherry filling in the closet. And I had some pie crust in the fridge. So we're gonna make a cherry cobbler. Just a quick one. You can always find something to make. Yeah. Find two things that'll match. Yeah, you can make some. So. I had two cans. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to season this up here with some little nutmeg, a little cinnamon. You know, give it some flavor. Some butter. Let me smear that around a little bit. Hold on. Okay. Now let's add some butter to this. When any cobbler, if you got some butter, that's going to take it over the top. Okay. And that's probably about a little over, about three-fourths stick of butter. You know, I don't do too much measuring. And I'm going to shake some cinnamon in it. Probably about, maybe about a teaspoon, a little less than a teaspoon of nutmeg. And I'm going to put some cinnamon in it. Probably about the same. 
salmon in. And I'm gonna add just a little sugar in. Cause it already has the pie filling mix. I'm not measuring, just gonna shake. And I'm gonna stir it up a little, just a little. Because I'm using that pie filling mix. Okay. It's going to look something like that. Now we're going to put our top on this. Hold on. Let's check on our potatoes. Looks good. And what's going to take these over the top? We're going to take a pack of Lipton onion soup mix. Sprinkle that over it. And we're going to put about... water in it. So it'll make some steam. That's it. Stir that up in there. Let that make some steam. And then turn it off in about five minutes and that's ready. Let's go back to our pie. Okay, let's put a top on this. And I don't know about you, but it's the crust that makes the cobbler for me. There. And we're going to cut some butter up and put over top of this. And this right here is salted butter. Now you can use unsalted butter if you like. That's that's your preference. Mm. 
But I always have used this. I have always used salted butter. I mean, a lot of the recipes, if you're going to put a a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, you might as well use salted butter. I like the crust to be buttery, so I'm putting a lot of butter on top of it. I'm going to sprinkle a little cinnamon on top. And I'm going to sprinkle a little sugar on top. I like that little crunch on top from the sugar and the butter. And this is our easy cherry cobbler. And you can go the hard way of making crust and all that. This Tennessee, no, we're doing it simple. Just like, just like that. Hold on, I'm going to put this in the oven and we'll be back. Okay, here's my finished product. My potato concoction. Yeah. You see those polar sausage? Peppers? Homegrown tomatoes? Yeah. And some corn cakes to go with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hold them up together. Yeah. And of course, you know, a Coke to go with it. Yeah. So. Let me speak to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let me crack this coke. It's always going to be at the cell. This or a sweet tea. Or ginger ale. Tell you, Tennessee North feels good today. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we're talking about. You see those peppers and onions? Potatoes? Yeah. You see the smoke coming off of it? Mm-hmm. It's all that. All that in a bag of chips. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. 
I'm going to go and rate this right off the bat. Between 1 and 10. Oh, we're looking at a 16 here. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. These is Mr.'s tomatoes, too. Mm. You better go make you some of this. I'm trying to say no for one. I'll lie to you. Mm, 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 mm. Someone asked, was my knee jumping too? Mm-hmm, it is. Mm. And I'm feeling good today too? Oh, my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Give you another look at it. You see the smoke coming off of it, don't you? Mm. Mm. It's a high mercy. The cherry pie come out of it. Mm. I let him fall off his stool, man. Mm. to you. This is something else. Mm. Sometimes it's that throw together stuff. Oh. Turn out to be some of the best. Mm. Mm -mm. Shut your mouth. It was just that simple. Onions, green peppers, potatoes, little polar sausage. Little touch of love. Mm. Put whatever seasons you want in it.
a pack of Lipton onion soup at the end. About a half a cup of water. Took it over the top. Mm. And missed the tomatoes. The whole meal, 16 or better. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mr. said I need this. I'm going to have to check on it. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm full already. But I still gotta taste that pie when it come out of that. Mm hmm Cherry cobbler. Mm-hmm. Onion, potatoes. Mm. A must try. It's a must try. This past weekend, we had um, Labor Day. And all that grilled food. It's a good change from something grilled. Oh, what a good change. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. That part that <clears throat> good change. In the video, uh, when I went live, I said my youngest brother had took ill from being in the sun. Well, it turns out he had had a knee replacement some months back. And, um, he wasn't looking well. We thought he had a seizure. Turns out he had um infection in his knee. And um, so they had to take that out. Um, he's in the hospital now. But he's gonna be okay. They had to put a replacement, um, a temporary knee in there to get the infection out. And then they're gonna that had some antibiotics in, they're gonna take that out and put a permanent one in after the infection gets out of the system. He's okay. God answers prayers. Um, his girlfriend said he, he quit drinking. a couple of days ago. That was her prayer. I don't know, maybe it last, maybe it won't. Might have been for the good for him. <clears throat> but he answers prayers. Yeah, answer yours too. 
Just got to ask. Leave it there and don't worry. I got to learn that myself. If you like anything about this video, like, share, subscribe, subscribe. Tell somebody about Old Tennessee North. Yeah. Tell them. You ain't got nothing else to do. Go on over there and listen to her. She just rambles. Yeah, just be rambling. Mm-hmm. Hit that bell in the corner. So you know the next time Old Tennessee North comes back with a video. And you know it will be a next time. Yeah, this right here. Just a little throw together some potatoes and and some sausage and onions and green pepper. And I mean good. Woo-wee. Get you some. Till next time. Bye now.